guys. Welcome back to my channel, guys. They're looking at you. Oh, hi. Um, love you. Um, please like and subscribe. No. <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you enjoyed this Mexican food. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Tonight on the menu, we have Taco Cabana. I'm not sure if everyone is familiar with this place. I don't know if it's just in Texas. I have no idea. But Taco Cabana, um, we have chicken, soft tacos right here. Um, we have some chips with some queso and guacamole. We have, um, I don't know what that is, queso, guacamole, grilled onions. Um, I don't know, but it's for the flautas. I was supposed to pour on top, but I didn't want them soggy, so just left it in there. I'll just dip it. Got a quesadilla right here and a bunch of little extra sauce thingies they gave me, which, of course, I don't know what they are either, so that's fine. We'll figure it out once I taste it. <laughs> and then here's some iced tea in my wine glass. Yeah, so, okay, let's pray because I'm really hungry. Thank you, Father, for this food. Bless this food and sanctify it by your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Always say your prayers. And I'm hungry. And um, you guys, uh, Mexican food was the second runner-up for my next meal idea. So I'm like, okay, I'll do Mexican food. So, I don't know where I'm going to start. Oh, yeah, I have a story time for you guys. Yeah. Today, I'm spilling the beans, or I should say tonight, because it's tonight. I'm going to try one of these chicken soft tacos. Yeah, tonight, I'm spilling the beans. I'm going to answer a bunch of questions that a lot of you have been asking me, and so, yeah. Oh, and warning, this video is going to be a TMI video, and it's going to be a trigger warning video. I'm going to talk about some sensitive subjects or triggering subjects. I don't know viewers out there who are very sensitive to things like that i'm warning you now if you don't like those kinds of things or you get grossed out you might want to go watch someone else or click off this video and come back to my next one or something but i'm just warning you up front so no one gets offended or upset so okay here's our chicken soft taco grilled onions looks really good and I hope not. This is some kind of green. Um, I'm gonna dip it in the queso too. Oh, look at that, you guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. My husband and kids are doing their thing. Mm. I haven't eaten at a taco cabana in years. Really good. Mm-hmm. When I was went out to get all this, I put it all in my car to drive home, you know. My car smelled like Mexican food heaven. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and also if you guys don't like talking during a mukbang, because that's what a mukbang is, is you talk and you eat. But if you don't like that, you're not going to like this video either. I'm going to do a lot of talking in this one. Mm -hmm. Those peppers are so sweet and spicy.
I hope you guys get something delicious to eat with me because it's going to be one of those. Sit down, grab some good food, eat with me, and listen to what I got to say because... Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> this story time is supposed to be about my third child because I'm going down the line, as you guys know, um, of my pregnancy and birth stories. So this is baby number three. And I forgot to tell you, look at this guys. I forgot to tell you with my first child, um, my doctor that I had for my first kid when I was 17, um, he had an emergency situation and he had to take off. He had to bounce out of the house, like the hospital, the house, you know, he, he couldn't deliver my baby. It was so, look at that. So he had to leave and I was literally in labor. A PA had to deliver my first baby, everyone, a PA. And not just any PA, he was just starting off as a PA. I mean like brand new, oh my God. Mm. So uh, yeah, uh, long story short, That PA like really didn't even know what he was doing and he butchered me, butchered me. So 17 years old, my first kid, he literally, TMI, you guys, I warned you. He literally cut me from front to back. I'm not even kidding you. Um, a week after I had him, I was still not walking right. It was so terrible. Okay. And then I had an amazing specialist, world-renowned doctor that delivered my second baby. Perfect. Everything went wonderful. The moose. And then, obviously, I had a third baby. My first baby, his name is Michael. You guys have never seen him or met him on my channel. He's never been on my channel. So, you guys don't know what he looks like or who, nothing about him but my second child was Aaron my son that has the the um, YouTube channel as well his name his YouTube channel name is a king all caps um yeah that was my second born was Aaron he's in my videos you guys can go check it out um my third kid obviously was Logan the one in my last video where he's running by with no shirt on <laughs> this is the story time about him But also, before I get into that, I want to tell you how I met my ex-husband, the devil, and how I had so many kids with him and all that. I'm going to do it really quickly because it's a long story, but I can do it fast. Okay, I was 13 years old and... Um, me and my brothers and my parents, we lived in California. Um, I was born and raised in San Diego, California. And then after years of, of living in San Diego, my parents moved us to LA. We lived in LA for many years as well. And then my brothers got into so much trouble and with gangs and fighting every day. And my parents got so sick of it. They were getting into fights every day. They were becoming like involved in gangs and stuff. So my parents were like, that's it. This is not happening. Look at that, you guys. Oh, oh. oh God, so delicious. So my parents picked us up and moved us to Texas because we have a lot of family here in Texas. 
and my parents were done with it. They were done with just everything. So we moved to Texas when I was um, um, just about to turn 14. I turned 14 right when we moved to Texas and went to high school in, went to Bowie High School in Bowie, Texas. And that's where I met my ex-husband in the halls of Bowie High School. It's probably spicy as hell. Mm. Freshman year. I was walking through the halls. I was scared out of my mind. I was like, oh God, a new school, a new state. Like, I've never lived in Texas before in my life. You know? And it was very, it was culture shock because California from Texas is completely different. Mmm, this is really good. So, I walked into the halls, didn't know anybody. People were staring at me, they were like, who is this new bitch? Like, you know what? Oh, hell no. You know, they weren't very friendly at all. Mmm. So then... This is so good. I see this this guy walking towards me, right? I'm walking towards him. He's walking towards me. Um, um, we both look at each other like this as we're passing by. Like, he does it to me. I do it to him. And he was looking at me like, like, just like, like this really, like, like maybe I was a steak with legs walking down the hallway, if you will. That's how he looked at me. He was just like. And I looked at him and I was just like, first thing that popped in my head, I was like, freak, like what a creeper. Like it creeps me out. It I was just like, wow. Anyways. <laughs> so then um, a couple days went by, you know, and I kept seeing him in the hall and he was just always staring at me so creepily and weird. Mmm. So then this cute little blonde headed girl comes up to me because nobody would talk to me. Like the girls were bitches to me really bad. They're giving me dirty looks and oh my God. So this girl, blonde hair, she comes walking up to me. She's like with this big old Texas accent. She's like, hi. She's like, my name is so-and-so. And she's like, are you new here? And I was like, I said, yes. And I'm very nervous. Nobody likes me. Nobody will talk to me. So we became best friends. Um, for the next couple of weeks, we were hanging out every day. I'd still see that boy in the hallways and he was always constantly staring at me. So finally I told her about him. And I was like, um, there's this one guy that like keeps staring at me so weird. He makes me feel uncomfortable. And she goes, well, is he cute? Like, where is he? Who is he? I said, I don't know who he is. So one day we're walking through the halls and quesadilla and he comes walking um look at that quesadilla guys that guacamole on it mm. he's walking towards us and i nudged her and i go there he is there he is i said don't look don't look and she was like looking and then he was coming like right towards us, like closer and closer. And then he got, he like came right up to us and he was like this, you know, from me. He's like, hi, my name is so-and-so. And I was like, hi, I'm Kristen. And she goes, are you talking about him? And I was like, oh God, that's her ex-boyfriend or something. Oh God. I said, um, before I could answer her, cause I didn't know what to say. And she started laughing and she goes, um, that's my brother. Yeah. To this day, me and her, 
we're best friends till the end. Like I met her when I was 14, you know, obviously my ex-husband met him too when I was 14, but yeah, we're still, she obviously ended up being my sister-in-law, but yeah. So right then and there, I was like, oh, okay, that's her brother. So I guess he's not really that creepy. I guess I can, you know, maybe check it out. Well, we ended up dating and okay, being together for many, many years after that. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> I met my ex in high school when I was 14. Um, he was my first everything. First boyfriend, first intimate, you know, um, everything. So, of course, when you're young and you're young and dumb, you think you're in love and you think you're going to be with this person for the rest of your life. And, you know, so... Yeah, after a long time of being pressured for sex, um, I finally gave in and he, he became my first, you know. Because, um, yeah, he was very like that. <sighs> so, um, those pictures that I had in my last video, you guys, at the end, those were right before I got pregnant. Those pictures were. I was 16 in those pictures. Okay. Unexpectedly got pregnant with my first kid. I told you guys about that. And then you guys know what happened with my second kid. I told you guys about that too. And yes, it was my ex-husband that did that to me. At the time we were married, I was having my second obviously having my second kid you know watch my sushi and king crab leg video and i it'll explain it all to you there but just because you are married to somebody or in a relationship with somebody doesn't give them comp blanche to have their way with you no it does not and i'm not going to say explicit words or whatever because youtube is very strict about things nowadays So, when you're saying no and you're crying and you're fighting and it still happens, that's exactly what it is. It doesn't matter if you're married to them. It does not matter. So, <clears throat> that's how our second child came. Ended up marrying him right out of high school. Had another baby with him. And everybody's asked me, well, why did you stay with him? Why did you have more kids with him after that, if he did that to you? Good question. I'll tell you. I had to drop out of high school because I was pregnant. And back in 96 is when I got pregnant. It was shameful. It was a disgrace. You were looked down on. You were treated like an alien. Um, you couldn't stay in a regular schooling. You had to be put in a different schooling, a different school. It was like, it was horrible. So when I found out I was pregnant, I refused to go back to school because I didn't want to be made fun of. I didn't want to be talked to like I was a whore or a slut. You know, and so I refused. I said, no, I cannot. 
So my plan was to have my first baby and then go back to school and finish it out. I had one more year left. Mmm. It's good guacamole. Very good taste though. Um, yeah, that didn't happen either. My ex-husband took everything from me. Do you understand what I'm telling you? He took everything from me. My rigidity, my self-respect, my self-worth, um, my youth. He took my past, he took my future, he took everything from me. So I just had a baby and I was about to start going back to school to finish out high school to get my diploma. That happened to me, bam, here's another kid. Um, so I had a toddler, 10 month old, and I had a newborn. And at the time my ex-husband was doing um, Excuse me. He was doing a uh, construction. He he was a welder, so he was gone working shutdowns all the time. So it was just me, a uh, ten month old, and a newborn, and I had no help. My parents at the time were working their butts off to you know support themselves, pay their bills, so they could. My mom couldn't help me. Um. So no, my plans of going back to school shattered. Never happened. So finally I got like, you know, I went online and I paid $700 to take some classes to finish out to get my GED. So that's what I did because I couldn't go. I had nobody to take care of my kids. I, I, you know, there, there was just no way. You guys want to bite? Okay. <clears throat> so then, and at the time, you know, when that happened to me, I didn't know it was wrong. Like I wanted, I didn't want it to happen, but I, I was like, well, you know, he is my husband. So what am I going to do? This is just my life. No, at that time, because I was young and I didn't know anything. That's what I thought, but no. Oh my God. So of course I stayed with him because I didn't think it was the R word. I didn't at the time. I didn't know. Mmm. Those onions are very sweet. So, I tell you, um, my kids have the same dad. They all do. And that's why I never told anybody because I didn't know it was wrong. I was like, that's my husband. So I didn't like it, but I guess it, I had to just take it, you know? So that's why I also didn't tell anybody. And I, I was embarrassed to say, I, you know, I was crying and saying no, and it still happened. You know, I, I don't know. I just didn't tell anybody. I just told my mom. Of course, because I ended up being pregnant again. Um. I didn't want to say, oh, mom, I was so horny again. I, you know, I just, I just wanted to, uh, do it all over again. Uh, no. So then I told her, you know, cause I was humiliated. I said, you know, I was telling him no and he, he didn't take no for an answer. So she was so upset. Um, and of course she didn't say anything to him because I begged her not to. I just said, no, I don't want him knowing I, you know, anyways. Okay. So third baby pregnancy, um, mm. it was about A 
year and a half later, after my second kid, Aaron, um, I was on, I was going in between on and off birth control. The doctor put me on the pill. The pill was terrible for me. It was making me so bitchy, so moody. Um, it was giving me hot flashes. It was making me gain weight. Um, I would get very emotional. I mean, I just, I hated it. Mm. So I told it, I went to my doctor and I said, I do not, I want it off the pill. I don't like it. I don't like the side effects. Please give me something else. So he put me on the depot Provera shot. Ah. Uh, that lasts for three months. Mm. It worked perfect, you know, but once again, the damn side effects, it was terrible. My hair started falling out by the handfuls. I was gaining weight again. Um, moody, hot flashes, night sweats. Oh my God. So I went back to my doctor and I said, this is terrible. This, I was supposed to get my, you know, refill shot. I said, no, I'm not doing this again. And so I told him my, you know, again, I told him my symptoms. He's like, well, uh, basically all birth control is going to give you the same side effects. Um, you're just going to have to deal with it or be abstinent. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm married. I don't think that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So as we were in between birth controls, trying to figure out what excuse me, the best route was for me, um, of course, I ended up getting pregnant again. And at this time, you know, I was really upset. I was like, oh my god, we can't do this again. And you know what he said to me? I have oh, you guys don't even know what this man has done to me. And also, people say, oh, why did you stay with him and I had more kids with him? First of all, I was married to him. Second of all, I, I had nowhere to go. I had two kids, no high school diploma, no job history. I never worked, you know, because I went ever out of high school, still in high school, got pregnant, got pregnant again. I mean, it was just, it was horrible. We had a very toxic, abusive relationship. Okay, so I, I felt like I was stuck and I had nowhere to go and I didn't, you know, where was I going to go? <laughs> so then after we found out we we're having a third one, he laughed at me and he goes, I'm liking this idea. Why don't I just keep knocking you up and giving you kid after kid after kid? So that nobody would want you and you'd be stuck with me forever. That's what he said to me. That was just one of the many psycho things he said to me and how he talked to me. And I was like, I was like, <clears throat> I said, what? And he's kind of like laughed like a, like a weird evil laugh. He goes, yeah, sounds like a plan to me. And I kind of chuckled because I, I was like, didn't know how to react to that. I was like, <laughs> I said, I don't think so. Well, anyway, the shock of a third kid came because, you know, I was trying to figure out what birth control is going to work for me. And in the meantime, got pregnant. After I was upset about it, after the shock wore off, I was getting excited, of course. Okay. Maybe it's a girl's time because I had two boys. I was getting really, really excited thinking I just felt it. I knew in my heart it was a girl. I was so excited because I wanted a daughter so bad. 
especially because I had two sons, so. Well, yeah, here comes Logan. <laughs> So I ended up, you know, again being induced. My two kids that I already had, I had to be induced. Both of them I was in labor for three days. This one with Logan, I had to be induced as well. And I also was in labor with him for three days. You guys, I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. My body it just doesn't want to ever give birth to a baby it doesn't it never has all six of my kids I was induced I never went into labor on my own I probably still be pregnant with the first one if it wasn't for medical help oh. <laughs> I laugh but I'm probably this is probably not a joke oh okay so I went to the hospital to be induced because he wasn't coming and my it was past my due date really good mm. Mm. hi mama <laughs> my cat right there um when I tell you this kid you guys Logan has been a pain in my ass even before he was born. Oh, okay, let me just tell you. Um, yeah, I went to the hospital, got all hooked up. Uh, they started the Pitocin and inducing me. And first day, nothing. Up to my Pitocin, everything, second day, nothing. Um, Finally, on the third day, the doctor was like, okay, uh, you're either going to have this baby today one way or another. We're going to really crank up the Pitocin and make this baby come or we're going to have to, you know, cesarean. Here we go again. So they really cranked my Pitocin up and um, I started having like horrific contractions. That, that did it. That got it going. So. Um, I started. <laughs> my contractions were coming like, like I didn't even have time to take a breath in between them. So they gave me an epidural and then uh, I kind of like, you know, was taking it easy. And then all of a sudden the pain started coming again. And I had the worst pain in my ass. It was like, it felt like the baby was coming out of my butt. I'm not even kidding you. I was laying there and I was like, oh my God, it feels like I'm shitting a knife. And my mom was like, what? I said, he's coming out my butt. He's coming out my butt. Mother, 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 please. Because my mom was there with all of my deliveries. She was always on my side in the delivery room. Of course, my ex-husband was, but he was not even supportive. So I was like grabbing her. I was like, he's coming out of my butt. He's coming out of my butt. Stop it. And she goes, no, it's normal. It's normal to feel pressure down there. I said, it's not fucking pressure. It's the baby coming out of me right in that area. So hilarious. I thought I was going to shit this baby up. <laughs> I really did. I've never felt anything like that in my life. It literally felt like a knife was coming out of my butthole. Okay. And I told you it's TMI. I warned you guys. And um, I was I was like crying and I was like yelling and I was telling the doctor, oh, Rick, he's coming out of my butt. He's, he's like, no, he's not. No, he's not. It's just pressure. I'm like, you crazy motherfuckers. I know what I feel. Like, don't even tell me. Anyways, uh, no, it was... <laughs> I've never been so scared in my life. I really thought I was going to be the first human being on the planet to give birth anally. <laughs> so when I tell you that kid has been a pain in my ass since before he was born 
and he still is. Oh my God. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> it didn't come out of my butt, but it felt like it. Oh my God. So if I had a good birth, and then. <laughs> The doctor cleans me up, cleans the baby up. He's crying. And I'm like, oh, thank God it's over with. Thank God. They clean up, you know, me, the baby up, everything, clear the station, whatever. And then I was like, can I see my kid? I want to see my kid. I don't even know what he looks like yet. And so here comes um, uh, my ex-husband's mother. She comes walking into the labor or the delivery room. And she has with me my other, I mean, she she has with her my other two sons. So I have my two sons there and then they're bringing the baby over to me so I can see him. I got the hiccups. And you guys, I look at the baby and I'm like, let me see. And I'm like, they, they showed him to me and I was like, I said, that's not my kid. And they, like, people, like, kind of chuckled. And they're like, my mom was like, what do you mean? I said, that's not my kid. My first two sons, dark complected, dark eyes, tons of black hair. Um, I said that's not my kid. Logan, gorgeous kid now, but he was so sheet white. I'm talking like white out white. That's how white he was. He had a huge head, huge eyeballs like this, completely ball headed. Ball headed. He looked like Casper, the friendly ghost. And I was like, I, I, it shocked me. Like, it really shocked me. Like, I just, I said, it's not my kid. It's not, that's not my kid. Mm -mm. I said, look at those two over there. And no, this, the, no. I really thought like they switched babies or something. <laughs> yeah, it, it was pretty shocking. But he looked nothing like my first two. And it was just, wow. I have pictures. I have tons of pictures, you guys. I will show you sometime. Mm -hmm. But, so I had my third kid. Um, my ex-husband at the time, he's like, um, we have three kids now. I don't want you even thinking about getting a job. You need to stay home, take care of our kids and the house and cook and clean and do what wives do. <sighs> Anyways. So that was back in 2000. I had my third kid in 2000. I was 20 years old. 20 years old with three kids. Stay at home mom. And in an abusive, horrible relationship in marriage and trapped and just, I have a lot more story times you guys coming up about me and him and just everything I went through. Um, so yeah, he was my high school sweetheart. Um, 
Basically, I married the devil. I met the devil and married him. Because wait till you hear the next story times and everything like that. So, I had three beautiful, amazing sons. You guys have seen two of them, Aaron and Logan. They're in my videos. So, my next story time is going to be on my fourth baby, which is going to be Mia. My daughter, my firstborn daughter. And you guys, when I tell you, be prepared. Be prepared for my next story time because my pregnancy and my birth with Mia and just what happened to me is going to be shocking and it's going to be a very emotional story time and I'm definitely going to cry. I'm sure you guys are going to cry too because every time I see someone cry, I cry. That's how I am and it's pretty remarkable and amazing this story time I'm going to tell you next of Mia. And what happened to me. But anyways. <laughs> I think there's chunks of hamburger meat in here. Mm-hmm. Mm. There it is. The next story time will give you a little more in-depth information on my ex and what he did to me and what I went through the 13 years being married to him I was married to him for 13 years <clears throat> but There was one point in our relationship that um, he grabbed me by the throat and he threw me up against the wall and he said, if you ever leave me, I'll kill you. Yes, he did. He did. And then he like laughs, he, like an evil laugh afterwards. I, I didn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. I was in absolute shock that he said that to me and it, the look in his eye was so scary. And when he just like let go of my neck and he like walked off as he was like kind of laughing out. I just. I wanted to cry, but I didn't want him to show him that I was being weak. Anyways, yeah. I end up telling you guys why we divorced and what happened and my other three pregnancies and deliveries i know this is all very personal but you know what you guys i want to share this with you because i don't want you guys to look at me and be like oh she's just another youtuber um no i'm not i want you guys to connect with me i want to connect with you i want you guys to know me personally um and I, as a friend as a person, as a human being. So that's why I choose to tell you guys very personal things and I'm going to continue to do so. And I know there's going to be haters in the comments calling me names or whatever or saying, you know, keep it, keep this an eating show and keep your personal shit to yourself. Well, guess what? It's my channel. So, no, not happening. But I am going to use coded words from now on. Um, because, yeah, I heard that YouTube is really sensitive about some things, so I'll just, like, <laughs> maybe you guys can figure it out. I'm sure you can if I talk about it, like, in a certain way. You ladies out there, have you ever been in labor and felt like the baby was coming out of your butt? Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> that sounds so gross, but I'm telling you, 
I, I would bet my life on it that baby was coming out that exit door. Oh god, it was so awful. Even with an epidural, didn't help. Mm. That's what I'm missing. I just realized I have no effing sour cream. I was just sitting here like, something don't taste right. <laughs> it's all so freaking delicious. Really, it is. Can you guys still see? But I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm missing a flavor. I'm missing something. It's a freaking sour cream. Oh, I'm sad. I'm like done now. And I didn't get sour cream. Mm. Sweet tea is so good. I was gonna do a couple shots because someone had asked me in the comments, oh, please do, please drink beer or take some shots for your Mexican food. I'm sorry, I really thought about it. I was like, hmm. But then I was like, if I do that, I'm gonna forget I need to say something. And so that's why I didn't. But maybe next video I will. Mm. Look at my cat, she's so cute right now. Okay. <clears throat> I think I, I covered everything. If I forget something, I'm going to be so mad. Forget to say something because you guys ask me so many questions. Like, you know, I don't know. I'm be glad to answer any question. I know my kids don't talk to their dad. Um, he, it's going on four years. He hasn't seen them. He doesn't give a shit. I talked about in one of my videos that he was supposed to get him this Christmas. <laughs> First time in three years he was going to see his kids. And at the last second, he literally called me. We talk once in the blue moon. That's only because my my decision, my choice. I refuse to talk to him. But <clears throat> he called me in, in the last second and said, oh, I'm sorry, I can't get the kids for Christmas. Excuse me. And I said, <clears throat> I said, what do you mean? I said, they're like, you know, planning on doing this. They're excited for it they haven't seen you in years and you're gonna call at the last second and say oh i'm sorry they can't come now that's exactly what he did he gave some piss poor excuse and said i'm sorry i'll just have to see them maybe spring break i was like you know what okay fine just you know, just don't even bother i was just whatever so yeah ended up uh not happening and now it's going on four years and uh he has not made an effort to see them or anything.
the peppers and onions on here, mm, they're sweet and spicy. I can't put my finger on it, but it's so good. Soaked an onion. All right, I think I'm going to end the video here. I am really full. That was delicious. Does he know about my YouTube channel? I heard through the grapevine that he does. Does he watch it? I'm pretty sure he does. Um, is he gonna talk shit or get pissed that I'm telling, saying all this? Guess what, I don't care, motherfucker. Don't care. If you're watching, hi. Everything I'm saying, don't care if you hear. Cause you know it's true. And guess what? I'm not using your name and I'm not using personal information. I'm not showing photos of you so I can do and say whatever the hell I want. Let's put that in your pipe and smoke it. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of this delicious Mexican food. And I hope you had something delicious to eat with me as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the story time and I hope you guys get to, I hope you guys enjoy getting to know me better as a person. And, um, yeah, I've got some really personal story times coming up as well. I'm going to keep rolling, rolling with the flow. Baby number four, which is, um, a really remarkable story time I have for you guys and I can't wait to share it with you because I really really want to share it with you guys and yeah I hope it touches someone out there and you know that's why I want to share um, things like this with you guys and you guys can probably relate to me very well all right I don't know what I'm gonna do next so if you guys also want to leave me suggestions in the comments um, yeah that'll be good too I love you guys. I'll see you on my next video and stay blessed, stay, stay safe. And I love you all. Okay. Bye.